my responsibility as a design director for innovation and design is to wrap it up into a contemporary attractive package. So we've been working with our, for example, our aerodynamics team on um, applying principles on you know, the best approaches, best practices on making an aerodynamic truck. So for example, you know, the idea and the notion of keeping the airflow around the vehicle as opposed to bringing it through the grill. Um, you know, we've seen grill shutters in Audis and you know, uh, Volt and things like that. And so what we did is we took that approach and then we restyled the grill so we can make active grill shutters. And then so there's uh, there's a couple things we did on this for the concept truck as well. Because what what I wanted to do is as the grill closed, there's a different there's different types of material uses on it too. So when it's closed, I wanted it to become a real strong signature so it was really um, a highly visible feature. So that's why we have the, the carbon fiber wrap on the side. And on the ends, it's a, it's a high gloss titanium finish. Right? So what we want to do is it's, it's a, an indication of you don't have to have a chrome treatment for grill bars. You know, these are there are other alternative ways to do that. So, and this is how. So this is this is a kind of a combination of you know form follows function. One of the first questions that would come up is, well, you know, what if it's what if there's uh, freezing rain and then you have to activate it and you know what's going to happen? You want to strip any gear as well. The idea is we would. You know, we have to do some um, uh, some studies, but for example, let's say if it got down to 34, 35 degrees, then you just you make sure that the, the active system doesn't work because you don't really need the grill because it's, it's cool enough to work. The ambient's cool enough to cool the engine. That's right. the idea. And then typically anything after, you know, over 55 miles an hour, for example, that's where you get the, the benefit. Let's so. I don't know the the engineers could determine you know maybe it's 50 you know I don't know but really the uh, it's it's a combination of speed and temperature for production I'm guessing carbon fiber probably wouldn't be the material of choice I mean it it wouldn't be the material of choice and and uh, but what we could do though there are actually films that have that effect in fact that's what that is so, uh, originally um, this this the sides of the grill bars they were going to be um, Brushed aluminum. So the idea, you know, when this thing closed, it would look like this big shield. But then, um, as we started uh, refining the vehicle, we started adding some carbon fiber accents and things like that. And then I thought, well, you know what? It wouldn't be as dramatic, and it's actually probably a little more subtle this way. That's why we decided carbon as an accent as opposed to silver. So it, it actually could be anything. Uh, we were brainstorming uh, with some our sales guys. You know, and there may be some. You could put a logo on there, front like that, so when you know, it closes, you could have the fleet name. You could do a number of things. So, um, you know, the the ideas are endless, really.